For today's video, you are in for a sweet treat, quite literally, because we are in Germany and we've decided to taste test a few of our favorite chocolates. Chocolate. The brand we are testing is Ritter Sport. And we have six different varieties. Let's show them. Ooh. So you've got three in your hand. I've got three in mine. And we're going to be trying all of these and letting you know what our favorites are. Now the first thing to know is that there's a special way to open these. And Audrey is going to show us. I'm a pro. Watch this. <laughs> OK. Oh. That one malfunctioned. One more. So you just crack it open. Ooh la la. Chocolat. Okay, so the first kind we're going to be trying is this yellow pack, and it's a cornflake chocolate. So regular milk chocolate, but stuffed with cornflakes. I've never had chocolate with cornflakes before, mm. but I like both things, so I have high expectations here. I've had this before, and it's one of my favorites. So a bite each. Oh wow, that's a crunchy one. How do you like it? Amazing. It reminds me of a chocolate we have in North America. I think it's called Crunch or Crunchy. It is like the Crunchy bar. Mm -hmm. But this is better. Mm -hmm. The next one we're trying is the red package. This is Marzipan. Um, and it's basically an almond paste made with honey and sugar. So that's the filling inside this chocolate. It also looks like it's a darker chocolate. I'm not a fan of dark chocolate. I prefer milk chocolate. So we'll see how this goes. That's very rich and decadent. Do you like it? <laughs> I prefer milk chocolate. I've, I've already said that. Um, it's not my favorite, but the marzipan is very sweet. So that kind of balances the bitterness of the dark chocolate. So it's okay. Oh, I need water. Okay, now this is the one I've been really wanting to have. I'm a huge fan of peppermint chocolate and Ritter Sport is high quality chocolate so I have very high expectations for this. Okay. Let's give it a try. Right? Mm. Oh wow. What do you think? It's a lot like those after eight really thin chocolate strips. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really good. It's like a, it's also like the junior mints that we have in North America as well. Number four. So this one is the espresso flavor. And do you normally like espresso? I do not like coffee, so no espresso for me. Yeah, we're not coffee drinkers, so I'm not sure how we're gonna like these ones. Torture. <laughs> okay. Mm. It has a strong coffee flavor, but it's milk chocolate, not dark chocolate, so it's bearable. I think if you put enough sugar in anything, you can make it taste good. So even though I don't like this flavor normally, I actually quite like it in chocolate form. Okay, next up we have a new flavor that I haven't seen before. It's called Olympia, and it has yogurt, honey, nuts, and grape sugar, if my translation is correct. So, Sounds interesting. Let's see. Let's take a square. <coughs> Ew. Oh, that's an interesting one. Do you like it? It doesn't have a very distinct flavor considering it has four unique ingredients in the filling. Yeah, I agree with that. And I just coughed on the chocolate so that I get the rest of it afterwards. <laughs> not a bad strategy, huh? Last, but certainly not least, we have coconut. And I am a huge coconut fan. Do you think you're gonna like this one? I've actually been having this chocolate when Sam's not around. I run into the supermarket and get a square for myself. Gobble it up before he has I'm a I'm just chance. finding this out now. That's evil. Here you this go. This is the best one in my opinion. 
This looks so good, I'm taking two squares. Hmm. Oh wow. It's like big chunks of coconut, that's... It's creamy. Oh. It's sweet. I feel like I'm back in the tropics enjoying a coconut shake. That's by far the best one as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to choose my top two and if I had to rank them, I'd say coconut number one and maybe the cornflakes number two. I really enjoyed those. What about you? Okay. Well, for me, I would go coconut also number one, but then I would go peppermint number two. So I think we figured out something quite important here. If we were to buy the coconut flavored Ritter Sport, we're going to be fighting over it. Quite literally. Great, give it to me. If any of you chocolate lovers find yourselves in Germany, there is actually a Ritter Sport chocolate factory located outside of Stuttgart. I went there a couple of years ago and their chocolate store is amazing. They have so much variety and all the packaging is so colorful so you can certainly spend a few hours there picking up souvenirs to take back home or to eat before you go back home. So if you're in Germany traveling and you want to try the Ritter Sport, they're 99 cents of a euro. So a little history into this chocolate bar. As you can see, it's a square shape because it was actually meant to fit inside of a gentleman's blazer inside the, the front pocket so that if they were ever at the theater or at the cinema and they needed something to munch on, they could discreetly pull it out and have their Ritter Sport. Yum. That's clever. Yeah. <laughs> I just spit it out. Oh. You didn't like that? Mm. Mm -mm. Oh gosh, Audrey. You're so dramatic. <laughs> the longer I keep it in my mouth, the worse it gets. Jeez. It's a bit weird. Here. This one. Coconut, okay. Me. <coughs> I, Ew. I really talk the ways. Do you want to do this one? Here. <coughs> <coughs>